This time next week, all the talk will be about who's going to win the Super Bowl. But this week, we have to decide who's going to play in the Super Bowl. So for our weekly NFL Your Say question brought to you by Tall Pines, it's your turn to play Swami. What's your pick for Super Bowl matchup? Head over to WICZ.com slash Your Say to vote now. The Albany Great Danes have been the team to beat for women's basketball in the America East with five straight conference titles, but the Great Danes graduated a lot and have a new coach. So at eight and nine and just two and two in the conference, the BU Bearcats are the favorite entering play tonight. The top two scorers in the league go head-to-head -to -head tonight as well, and they share a name, too. Imani Watkins leads Imani Tate by six-tenths of a point. Watkins getting in on the assist game early. Baseball toss to Kai Moon underneath. Top play nominee, reverse lay-in. And then Moon repaying the favor, finds Watkins on the wing. Give her all three of those. Bearcats lead by two, but here we go, trading places again. Moon from the wing, the freshman lighting it up. BU up by five, but anything you can do, Imani can do better, right? Sure, three more for Watkins, 23 on the night, but not so fast. Moon ending the half with a pass to herself by way of the front of the rim. Career high 16 for Moon, BU up 40-31 at the half. The Bearcats have dropped 13 straight to Albany, looking to end that tonight. But Imani Tate waking up in the second half. Just one for six in the first. Tate gets the jumper from the elbow. Then in the corner, drives and kicks it off the glass. 18 second half points for her. 20 on the night. Bearcats drop a heartbreaker. 67-61. I think a little bit of complacency. Um, you know, we looked up and we were like, we're, we're up nine. This is great. Um, and I don't think we matched the intensity that Albany brought. Um, in the second half, we got killed on the offensive boards. Imani Tate came out much stronger than she did in the first half. Um, we missed some free throws and we turned the ball over. It's obviously a dis disappointing loss tonight uh, when you have a lead and you can't um, maintain it. But um, we're right there. Um, and I know that uh, we'll continue to improve throughout the rest of the season. The Bearcats hit the road on Sunday against Stony Brook at 2 o'clock. In Albany, the Bearcat men looking for conference win number one. Thomas Bruce doing his part early on, using every inch of those long arms for the emphatic slam, but he's limited to just eight points tonight. Albany strategically picking apart the zone defense. Travis Charles, mid-range jumper. Bearcats trail 40-31 at the half. Second half, Willie Rodriguez lighting it up. Deep in the corner for three. Count it, 21 points for Willie. But the Danes, too much tonight. Dave Nichols on the wing from beyond the arc. And the Bearcats, 0-5 in conference play they fall 84 65 they host stony brook at two o'clock also on sunday voting is now closed on our your say question and overwhelming majority 79 percent of you going with packers steelers that would sure be a good game be sure to join fox 40 and me at jonathan's on sunday for our nfc championship super party giveaway that party starting at three o'clock the Ottawa Senators continue making roster moves and today call up the B-Sens lone AHL All-Star. Casey Bailey is headed back up to Ottawa after a brief stint in the NHL. At the end of December, Bailey was named as Binghamton's only All-Star back on January 5th. He is tied for second on the team in goals with 10 and is fifth on the team in points with 15 in 33 games played. The All-Star game is scheduled for January 29th in Allentown, Pennsylvania. No word on how long Bailey will be in Ottawa and whether or not it will affect his All-Star status. That's it for sports. We'll be back right after this.